fine shape. Just a few seconds. Done. We'll do the same thing on this side. Make sure you're basically fixing blue and blue. Let's take off the cap. Oh, I put this one on tight. This one has a squirter. Did you shake it? Okay. Now, these bottles have a little nozzle that you can turn, and that opens it, just like a blue bottle. But it's not good to open the same way. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use this measuring cup, and then the reaction will happen in the dish. So let's do that now. Let's start with the green one. Try to measure right up to 12.5 ml. Just like that. Perfect. It's an approximation. The closer you get it, the better it will work. And now, pour it into the Petri dish. We will do the same thing with the blue bottle. Perfect. Now, we're going to pour this here, like this. Now wait for it. It doesn't happen right away. Well, for us it did. <laughs> you used the whole bottle of color. I think he just used it's a not couple color. drops. Well, it's what makes the color. It's the it chemical reaction. Clear to blue and it made all kinds of patterns. And each patterns. Huh. We, but we used he told the us to do the whole thing. thing. He told us to do the whole thing. Are you sure I thought he said a couple drops? Well, you know he said it, the better it'll work if the more you use. I see. If you have more color, is that maybe? So, yeah. Now, let's do it again. Well, we can't because we used all the color, right? Uh, no. You don't. Oh, because you've got it all mixed. Gotcha. Okay. What's it called? A chemical reaction? Mm -hmm. This is sodium sulfite hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to swear that's really. That's cool. Now let's see what happens when we do this experiment in a cup where we can mix it up really good. 